Hey everyone, Chris here. That's right, Chris. Christopher from Platinum Reviews. You heard it here first. I am here with you doing a raw impression video for Need for Speed Payback. Uh, if you don't know what Need for Speed is, if you can probably tell already, it's a racing game. And uh, it's been a racing game for a very long time. So we'll, we'll jump right into this and let you know what my thoughts are on this game. Uh, before I begin, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, follow us on Facebook. We're doing a giveaway right now. And uh, the more people that join our YouTube and follow us on, face or on Facebook as well, um, the bigger the prize is. Right now it's sitting out a $20 card for the console of your choice. So uh, you can get that boosted up to possibly getting a free game. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, so we'll get right into it. Also, um, if you don't know what a raw impression video is, raw impressions are our thoughts of the game early on. So after we've put in a good amount of hours, we get a grasp of what the story is, the gameplay, but when we play pretty much all the mechanics of the game and really can tell you how we feel about everything, that's when we give you our impression. We do do full reviews, and those are our platinum reviews, and that's only after the game's been platinumed. Uh, this game has not been platinumed yet, and I really don't think I'm going to be platinuming it. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, not because the platinum seems hard. The platinum does seem pretty easy, but the game in general does it doesn't do it for me. Now, I've been playing Need for Speed for a very long time. I first started when I bought my PS1 when I was a kid, and I got three games with the PS1. I got Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Uh, let's just say Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is my favorite Need for Speed game. I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours on that game. And the big thing about Need for Speed that I've always loved is you're running from the cops. The cops have been a huge thing in every game where they're always there, you're always running. And Need for Speed Payback takes that and says, nope, not anymore. The cops are still there and the cops AI is good. I mean, they're, they, when you're running from them, it's definitely like, oh crap, you know, but the cops aren't how they normally are. They're definitely, it seems like they're dumbed down and it's no longer trying to escape from them as in like, hey, the cops are after me. We got to try and get away. You know, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Now it's from point A to point B. So the cops start chasing you and you have to get to point B before the time runs out. Every time you get through a checkpoint, you get a little bit more time. And what I hate so much about this is not only that you're running from the cops to a checkpoint, uh, but also that when you're running from the cops, the it uh, it just isn't the same. Like I I don't like that you're you know the checkpoints. You're, it's just not the same doing that. And then also the story missions. It's you're only running from the cops in story missions, in races. It's not like if I'm driving down the street, no cops are present at all. I can't speed past a cop and he sees me. Like they've definitely dumbed down the cops and that is a huge downfall of this game. Now, that's not the only thing that made Need for Speed a good series. You know, Need for Speed, been playing for years and it's always about been about the racing. And the racing's here. I mean, the racing's still the same, still awesome. There are has been some additions, I believe. I don't remember in the last one. I don't think they did, but uh, I want to say now they added off-roading, uh, different car class that you can choose, and different race, where you're pretty much going off-road the whole time. Now, some things I don't like about that. So the race types are race, drift, drag, um, one where you're running from the cops. I can't remember what that one's called. I want to say payback, and off-road. Now, the off-road is horrible. The car traction, it just doesn't work. And I, I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but it, it's definitely, it just doesn't feel like I'm racing. It feels like more of the time, like I'm trying to fix what I messed up by making the turn. It... it off-roading does not have a place in Need for Speed, I feel, and I definitely would not be against not seeing it in the next uh, installment. Uh, also, so you have your racing and drifting and everything, but it seems like all those mixed together, so it seems like 
you know, I'm I'm racing, but then also my race car goes off road and races off roading, and you know, your race car isn't built for the off roading, so it definitely definitely messes a lot of things up. I don't like a lot of the aspects of this game, and it's really disappointing going from a series that I've grown to love to this. <laughs> uh, also, the racing seems more cinematic, like all these awesome moments that, you know, it'd be so cool to do. You're not. It, it goes over to a cinematic, and now you're controlling, or you're not even controlling a car, you're just watching something, and then when it gets past the cool part, and it goes back to just driving, that's when you take over. Uh, really dislike that. I don't, I don't think that, you know, I, I don't get a need for speed game because I want to see cinematics. You know, that's never been something I've thought about. It's always been about the racing. And I feel like they've really went away from that just to make this game more Hollywood, it feels like. Um, some other things about the game, they've made it to where it's a level system now. So you're leveling your car to try and beat other people in races. Um, it goes all the way up to 400, level 400, uh, probably past that, I don't know, but, uh, you can only do certain cars to that, so if you, the car you get from the beginning is not going to be the car you end up with at the end, which, I mean, is normal and everything, but you get speed cards, and the game, EA, for some reason recently has been on this pay-to-win type thing, and... It's still apparent with this game. You're, you can spend money on microtransactions that get you more money, get you better equipment, get you a bunch of stuff so that you're a lot faster. And it's so disappointing knowing that I can't just play the game now. I mean, you can, but you know, you can also spend sixty more dollars and play the game better. It, hate the microtransactions, EA. If you're listening, which you're probably not, stop it. <laughs> but yeah the game in total i mean there's there's good things about it need for speed has always been fun and this game is definitely fun the customization is dumbed down compared to underground which underground's customization was the best the series has ever seen and they need to go back to that because i used to love customizing cars the also underground was just about racing like there was that story to it but it was mostly just racing and i loved that Need for Speed now, though, is not about racing. It doesn't feel like... Like, you still race, but there was moments where it was all, like, get home. And I had, like, a minute to get home. And I was like, why am I racing home? Like, what the... Made no sense. But, you know, what are you gonna do? The game is fun, though. I mean, if you want a fun racing game, this game is definitely one to check out. If you're wanting a Need for Speed game for story, don't check this out. If you're wanting a Need for Speed game to check to run away from the cops... Also, don't check this out because you will be highly disappointed. The map also doesn't seem too big. They, I don't remember the last map, how big it was, but it doesn't seem like they're too ambitious with this title. Uh, it looks really small compared to other things. And going from a game like Assassin's Creed Origins, where the map is just huge and you're just so impressed, Need for Speed is just such a tiny map and everything seems like it's all really close together and so disappointed but you know the game being fun definitely makes up for a lot of it and i definitely am enjoying my time i just don't think my time's going to be spent a lot longer on this game so i'm going to give it kind of a raw uh raw score don't take this uh to heart i definitely originally playing this game about three hours in i probably would have gave this game a five uh five out of ten it wasn't good um, now that I'm sitting at about 20 hours in, I'd say it's about a 6 out of 10. The game is fun, and that's what makes it a 6. All my issues with the microtransactions, with the, with the cops, which is huge, uh, all my issues with the racing and everything definitely lowers the score. And if I keep playing, if I do happen to get the Platinum, how far I get with the story, I, it could possibly get lower. But as of right now, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, granted, take it with a grain of salt because I haven't platinumed the game yet, 
but it's definitely a fun game. So if you want to check it out, definitely do it. It's fun. It's actually like $30 right now because of the Black Friday deal on PlayStation. I don't know what it is on Xbox, but it'll probably be close to the same. So uh, check it out. It's, it's worth $30. Um, I definitely would say that. So check it out. Uh, also check out our other videos. If you like what you saw, like the video, subscribe to our channel. And we'll keep the videos coming. You guys have a great rest of your day. And thank you for checking out Platinum Reviews. 